Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Rustic Star Christmas Ornament, which you can see here in the photo as well. I have a couple sample ornaments here for you. These Christmas ornaments are fairly easy to work. They're made in a 100% uh, cotton worsted weight yarn and they're not going to use up very much, probably uh, perhaps 30, 40 yards of yarn per star. I am going to be working with the dish, Dishy Worsted Weight Yarn by Knit Picks We Crochet. Again, it's 100% cotton and worsted weight. I'll be using the color Swan today, and this green color is called Douglas Fir. Now, also for my star, it's optional, but if you would like, you're welcome to add some beads to the top. You are going to need a stitch marker yarn needle for weaving in your ends and attaching your hanger and then as well a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook or an e4 and uh, links to these items can be found in the description also in the description of this video you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com so thank you so much for joining me while you're here i invite you to subscribe take a look around there are several other crochet Christmas ornament patterns here uh, as well as other crochet patterns for yourself and your home. The channel is updated weekly. Now this star is worked in rounds. Uh, we're going to start by working the center face of our star and we're going to make two of these. So these next rounds, rounds one through to five, we're going to repeat once again once we're all finished. So you're going to start by making a magic ring or chaining two. If you're chaining two you're going to work your first round into the second chain from your hook. If you're making your magic ring what I like to do is just simply take my yarn, cross it over, reach through and grab hold of my working yarn, place it over my hook and chain one. You're then going to, once you either have chain two or a magic ring, you're going to work five single crochet stitches into the center of your ring. Once you've worked five stitches, you can pull your ring closed. And you're going to continue working in continuous rounds. So you're going to want to have your stitch marker handy for round two into the second, uh, into the first stitch and into the back loop only you're going to work two single crochet. So you have your front loop here, which is the loop that's closest to you. Your back loop is the one that's furthest away. Insert your hook under that loop only work two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. We're then going to mark your first stitch. We're then going to work two single crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round you're going to have a total of 10 stitches. For round three, I'm going to br briefly remove your stitch marker, continuing to work in the back loop only. You're going to single crochet into that first stitch, and then work two single crochets into your next. You're going to repeat that all the way around, single crochet into your next stitch, and two single crochets into your next. At the end of this round you're going to have a total of 15 stitches. All the way around. For 
four, round five, sorry, round four, we're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch, replace your stitch marker, and then one more single crochet into the next. You're then going to work two single crochet into your next stitch. We'll repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, we're working in our back loop only in each of the next two stitches, followed by two single crochets in your next stitch. All the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 20 stitches. For round five, continuing to work in your back loop only, you're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then work two single crochets into the back loop only of the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around, one single crochet into each of the next three stitches and then two single crochets into your next stitch. When you come all the way around to your first stitch, you will have a total of 25 stitches. When you come to that first stitch, you can remove your stitch marker, then under both loops join with a slip stitch and fasten off. You're then going to go ahead and repeat that once more so that you have two circle faces and then meet me back here. Once you have your two faces worked in uh, your final stitch, I'm going to join with a slip stitch, but there's no need to fasten off. You're then going to take your two faces and put them together so that the wrong sides are together. We're now going to work our first point of the star. So we're going to start by chaining one, continuing to work in the back loop only and working through only one side, you're going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. You're then going to turn your work, holding them two of them together, turn your work, and on the other side, you're going to come around once again working in the back loop only single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Once again turn your work so you're working along the front. At this time starting in the first two stitches you're going to work a single crochet two together continuing to work in the back loop only. So insert your hook under the back loop only of the first stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, insert your hook under the back loop only of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your single crochet two together. Continue working, you're going to single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next three stitches. And 
and you're working around uh, the ring that you've created there on your star. So there's three. You're then going to single crochet two stitches together. You're now going to continue to repeat that around and around working continuous rounds until you have uh, like three or four stitches left. It's hard to kind of tell because we're not marking our stitch as we go. So there's single crochet in each of the next three stitches working in the back loop only and it does get quite tight as you work because the opening up at the top should be coming to a close. There's one, two, three and then work two single crochets or single crochet two together. Repeat. all the way around. So once you've worked it all the way around, you have a few stitches remaining. I worked, uh, I guess, five rounds of, uh, of those stitches. You can then join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. and fasten off. That's your first point finished. You're then going to uh, move around to the next point of your star and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the same stitch as uh, your previous point of the star. Now this slip stitch does not count as a stitch. You're then going to once again work a, ha a single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next five stitches on your star front. Turn your work and here you're going to want to count in five stitches so that you are going to be matching up with a stitch on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five. When you find your fifth stitch, you're going to simply single crochet in the back loop only and then each of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. You're then going to skip that slip stitch. Actually, I'm just going to adjust that stitch here a little bit. I'm in my join, so it's a little bit harder to see. There we go. Then you're going to skip the slip stitch. So you don't want to work in that in the chain one. Uh, you're going to go over, turn your work, into the first single crochet and into the next one. You're going to work your single crochet two together and then just as you did for the other point, single crochet in each of the next three stitches followed by a single crochet two together until you've worked about five rounds uh, and your top comes to a point and then you can fasten off and weave in your ends. You're going to repeat this for each of uh, three more points after this one is finished. You have three more points around your star face and then you're going to fasten off and weave in any ends and we'll finish it off together. Once you have worked all five points and you fasten off, you can go ahead and weave in any ends. This is what your star 
will look like. You're then going to want to attach a hanger and the beads are optional and you don't have to use the cotton you can use whatever you'd like but what I did was I'm just going to run some yarn up the side of my top point just to hide the tail a little bit you're going to secure it like so I then added my beads you can add your beads of choice actually i'm going to switch to a smaller needle uh, that will fit through let's see if i have one here here we go uh, that will fit better through my smaller beads there we go so then you're just going to thread your beads on once you've attached the yarn down at the bottom Like so you're going to want to leave a little bit of a longer loop if you're going to tie it with a knot to secure it as I am and then without pulling your loop all the way through you want to bring your yarn back down through your beads there we go Again, you don't want to pull your loop all the way through. When you pull it all the way back down, once again, you're just going to want to secure it a little bit there in the top of your star because you don't want it coming out. And once you've secured it, you're going to then just weave your yarn back down through just to tuck in the tail a little bit. Fasten off. Then up at the top, once again, just to keep your beads from sliding off, I tied a little decorative knot just at the top of them and your rustic star is complete. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, learning how to make these rustic Christmas stars. Uh, if you happen to make this design, feel free to share it with me on social media. You can tag Rich Textures Crochet and I look forward to seeing all of your finished tree ornaments. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.